What is up guys? Welcome back to episode 20? I'm honestly not sure what episode this is, but we're on our way to go grab a steal at our local uh, sneaker shop. But first I gotta go grab some cash. Um, and after we come back, I'll show you guys all the numbers because we did sell a few pairs. Actually, we only sold one pair, but so yeah, I'm gonna go pick up this cash real quick and then I'll go pick up the camera again. Okay, so I just pulled out 600 bucks from the bank and we're gonna be going for these. Hopefully they still have them, these Fire Red 4 size 8 for 150, the 2020 pair. And then this UNC uh, 9 for 160. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna be going for. Main thing we're gonna be going for are those Fire Red 4s. And there's a few other things that if they have them, cool, I'll get them. But also I'm not trying to just buy stuff just to buy stuff. Uh, I'm trying to make at least 50 bucks profit on each pair that I buy. One of them is cutting it really close. I don't know if I'm willing to take the risk or not just because I don't have the Instagram to fall back on. But by the time I get there, I'll probably decide. And I'll see if I can record in there because I usually play uh, music in there and I got to make bread from these videos to, you know, feed myself. I'm going to see what I can do. All right. I just saw someone walking away with the bag from the shoe store. Um, so I'm pretty sure they're sold. I'm going to check their Instagram real quick. Uh, I mean, I guess they're still available. So let's go see. All right. So I didn't film in there, but we ended up picking up three pairs. So I'm going to show you guys what I got when we get in the car. Um, I think we did pretty good. Here's everything we picked up. We picked up these Fire Red 4s, rep laces, just switch that out. Star's still there for 150, so that's a steal. I'll show you these when we get home. And these were What the Fives and Covalite, Koval, Koval something, three, uh, 380s. All of it for 430 bucks, dude. Not bad at all. I think depending on how well I clean them up, I should be able to make at least $50 on each. And those 4s, I should be able to make probably almost 100 on them. So that's really good. I'm pretty happy someone walked in right before me and took uh took another pair that was going to take some fearless ones but it's all good but yeah i think we did pretty good today i'm gonna go home clean these shoes up not right now but we're gonna clean them up and then have them hopefully listed up by tonight i don't know because i have a lot to do but hopefully that's the goal tonight have them all listed all right so flash forward uh two days and we have made some progress first of all i just want to update you guys on the good news go to my adidas confirmed app I think they, they dropped some um, Yeezy uh, Foam Runner or, or, Worker, or I don't know how they're pronounced. These things, these like tan brown Foam Runners. Point is, we got them for 88.20 in a size 12. So that is beautiful. We're gonna be making some good money on those. They're going for like almost $300 right now. So that's awesome. So I'm gonna update the spreadsheet and I will get right back to you guys. So you can see before we bought the three pairs from the sneaker store and the Yeezy 350 or the Yeezy Foam Runners, uh, we had $1,335.25. So we now have a total amount available of $817.05. So that's pretty good. Oh yeah, also in the two days that I did record, I cleaned um, all the shoes, so. The what the fives are clean now, they're ready to be listed. These honestly didn't even need to be cleaned. They were pretty much fine. And then these, these, oh, these bro. These came out to be beauties. I swapped out the red laces, put in some four laces, cleaned the bottoms. Bro, look at that, come on. So now cheapest on GOAT, $280. And they are disgustingly beat. These are in pretty good condition. They still have the hang tag. The only thing that really would kind of set us back is we hey, we don't have a box for them. But I mean, if I could find a Jordan 4 replacement box, dude, we'd be making like $150 profit on them. But unfortunately, I don't have a Jordan 4 replacement box. So yeah, that sucks. Oh, also, I think I just heard a knock on the door. They are here. I mean, at least I think they are. This is the fastest Adidas has ever shipped their shoes. I won the raffle or whatever on Friday. So it's Sunday today. I didn't even know they deliver on Sundays. But hey, I mean, I am not complaining whatsoever. Gotta be careful with this sticker here. I don't want it to like, I don't want to break it just in case it's important. Oh, I broke it. I broke the sticker. You know what? We're just gonna. Wow, these are a really interesting color. It's like, like a curry type of color. I don't even know. They have that, that foam runner smell. Yep, so here they are. Probably gonna be listing these up on eBay and collecting our hundred and something dollar profit. So, love to see that. Shout out to Adidas for the quick shipping. I'm probably gonna be listing up the all the pairs I cleaned last night up on eBay tonight. Um, so yeah, that'll probably be the next clip you guys see, so. All right, so I just posted up everything on eBay, took the pictures and all that. You guys can see it here. Everything's posted up on eBay, so when we get offers or sell anything, I'm gonna let you guys know what happens. Okay, it's the next day. I gotta move quick, but I was just packing boxes. You guys can see them right here. Um, they're over here, but we gotta go because the sneaker store we just bought the other stuff from yesterday has some UNC uh, Dunk Lows for $180. 
So we gotta zoom, bro, because I really hope no one takes them. Also, another thing I forgot to mention, we sold those LeBron uh, 7 Media Days on eBay. Before I started recording this video, I just forgot to tell you guys, we bought those at SneakerCon for $200. And we sold those on eBay for $280 after shipping and all that was $270 with $70 profit. So yeah, I'm gonna drive as fast as I can safely and cross my fingers and hope we get these shoes, man, because that would be a huge come up. Lowest on GOAT right now is $300. Okay, we just pulled up. Fingers crossed they have them, dude. I sprinted to get here. Let's go. All right, bag has been secured. I'll show you guys them in the car a little bit more. My camera's about to die. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the shoes real quick. Pick these up for $180. Look at that, dude. Still insole lettering, a little bit of figs in the bottom. All the stars are still there. Oh, dude, this was such a good pickup. This is probably the best pickup, actually, because we did get the farm runners this episode. Honestly, this has been a really good episode so far. We picked up the Fire Red 4s. We sold the LeBron 7 Media Days for some good profit. We got the foam runners, and then we got these. We're looking at some really good profit this episode. So I'm gonna go skirt skirt back home, keep on packing boxes, and then when I'm done with that, I'll pick up the camera again and I'll show you guys the whole process of cleaning these because they should be pretty simple to clean. All right, so we are back in the crib. Updated the spreadsheet, you guys can see it here. UNC Dunk Low, nine and a half, $180. Total amount available now is $637.05. I think we're doing pretty good. We've definitely strayed away from like forcing to buy stuff just for the sake of the series. And we've definitely just like started to just get good stuff, which I'm super happy about. Also, let me show you those LeBron seven media days. I have them as LeBron eights, but they're not. So you see that LeBron eight media days size 13, brand new, got them for $200 at sneaker con. Sold them for 281.12 on eBay, profited $81.12. You can see like our profits, like the last couple shoes we've sold, like profit $40, 76, 52, 52, 81, 121, 53. You guys can see the trend. We're starting to trend are almost around $50. I honestly think that average right there is more than $50. The series is moving along beautifully. I am super happy with the progress we're making. And hopefully, hopefully, I wanna say in the next three months, we'll be able to hit 10,000. If I wasn't doing all this stuff behind me, I feel like we could have hit it a long time ago, but hey. It's more content for you guys to watch and hopefully you guys enjoy it. I will pick up the camera a little later today when I'm done packing up all these boxes back here. All those all those have to be shipped. So when I'm done with that, I'll pick up the camera and start cleaning the shoes. All right, so the time has come to clean the dunks. So this is them now. Uh, you can see toe box is pretty creased. We're going to fix that. Bottom's a little dirty. And then we're going to fix the lacing. Insides are pretty clean though. Uh, so we'll have to do that. But just the bottoms and getting that creasing out. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna use for that. So just gonna kinda walk you guys through the process. Putting a towel over myself so I don't get my clothes dirty. Then we have the bowl with water and a brush in it. No soap in it because we use this Jason Mark shoe cleaner stuff. I don't know, I just used it. I've been using it for a minute. I got it off Amazon. First, we're gonna start by undoing the laces. And I usually do this when I lace them. Actually, the lacing's a little tight on these, so I'm probably gonna relace these. Okay, so I just relaced them before. This is after. Looks a little bit better. And then I can just tuck it behind the, tuck it behind there and boom, look at that. And now I'm gonna get rid of this toe box creasing by literally just using this. Just get a couple paper towel rolls or paper towels, shove them inside the shoe. Sometimes you need a little bit more. And boom, just like that, creasing is gone. So then I'm gonna leave it like that until I have to go ship out the shoe. And usually by then, Creasing is pretty much 100% gone. Also, if the shoe smells really bad, because some people, they smoke cigarettes and then the smell gets stuck to the shoe. So I'm gonna put you guys on. Dryer sheets, they go crazy. All you have to do is put a couple inside the shoe that smells like smoke, close it up inside the box, leave it for probably a few days, and that shoe should smell significantly better. Because I get shoes all the time that smell like smoke. Do that and they're pretty good. These don't have to do that, but if you want the new shoe smell or like a nice fresh scent, feel free to do that, but I'm not gonna be doing it for these. So now we're gonna go on to the cleaning of the bottoms. So we're just gonna get some of our sauce, um, spray it on top of the shoe, put a generous amount, get your wet brush and just go to town. So after after that, we get a few paper towels, try to dry up the shoe as best as possible. So you can see we still have some stuff on the bottoms and that's when we get a knife and pick it out. So just go over all the gum and pick it out. Sometimes this can be pretty gross because there's like poop and stuff on the bottom of the shoes, but hey man, anything for that profit, you know? So 
So I got most of the gunk out of the bottoms. Uh, there's still a little piece of glue right there that is just a little too tough for a knife to get out. So we're gonna be using a Q-tip and some non-acetone nail polish remover just so we don't mess up the paint. So I'm gonna dip it in there, go over the gum a little bit. It might take a minute if it's like a pretty fat blob, um, but if you go over it enough, it'll slowly come off. So you can see it's pretty much gone, but I'm just gonna go over the shoe one more time with some soap and water and just make sure to get all the last gunk out. And then the shoe is good to go. All right, so this shoe is pretty much done. I'm gonna show you guys a little before and after. This is the shoe we have not cleaned yet. Uh, you can see the creasing on the toe blocks, laces undone, midsole's a little dirty and bottoms are pretty gross. And now, boom, laces cleaned up, insole clean, toe box fixed the creasing, and the bottoms are immaculate. So we just turned a $108 shoe into like a $270 to $300 shoe, just with like five minutes of work. So it's definitely worth it. You might get your hands a little dirty, but hey, who cares, wash them. You know, you might get a little dog poop on your hands. It's never killed anybody, but being broke has. So uh, clean your shoes. All right, what's up guys? It's kind of early in the morning, 8.30. But last night I was on offer up all night looking for some deals that we could do. We haven't had much progress selling anything in the last couple days, so it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I managed to negotiate these PSG 4s. They're brand new. I'm gonna go pick them up for $280, along with some brand new PSG 6s as well for $250. We should be roughly making at least $50 from each of them. So that's a pretty good return. I believe we have like 600 and something dollars available, so we should have more than enough. So yeah, I'm gonna go take you guys with me and put on the chest mount, and hopefully it's not weird. All right, just pulled up to the meetup spot, meeting at a police station. Remember guys, always meet at a safe place. I'm not trying to have someone like get clapped or something like that. So yeah, always meet up at a public place, bank, police station, Starbucks, something where there's eyes, people will know if something goes wrong. So yeah, I got the chest mount on. Dude should be pulling up any minute now. Already went to the bank and all that. So we should be good to go. I'm gonna put the GoPro on my chest now. All right, let's go do this video. You got them both for uh, retail when they dropped? No, I got this one for retail and I got this one on um, Flight Club. Oh, okay. I really love both of them. I got the ones too. Oh, really? The, um, the they're like the, the black yeah. and white. I like the whole, uh, the whole pack they have. Oh, the five. Love I love the color on these too. Yeah, man. I got so many fours. Yeah, I fours love, are definitely I, my favorite. I love, I love fours and one, threes and fours. Sa and same with 11. me. Some sixes I really like too. Yeah. It was a uh, 530, right? Yeah. You buy it for yourself or resell it? Uh, I have a YouTube channel. Oh, and, okay. Yeah, so I started off with $100 and I'm trying to turn it into $10,000. So right now we're at 2,500. Good, man. So slowly we're trying to get there. 25. 30. 30. Thank there you. There you go. All right, cool. Okay, Thanks appreciate bro. you. Thank you. We're gonna go back home, list these up on GOAT, eBay, and that's pretty much it, and wait for them to sell, because we don't have to really do anything. They're brand new, uh, we got a good deal. If that guy somehow ends up finding this video, thank you so much, appreciate you. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go back home. Um, not really much planned for today. We have a lot of stuff, we're running low on money too. We have like a hundred something dollars left. I'll update the spreadsheet and show you guys all that. So let's go back home. All right, we're back home. I'm gonna show you guys the spreadsheet. I just updated it. So you guys can see Jordan 4 PSG size 10, 280 brand new, and the Jordan 6 PSG size 10 brand new for 250. 50, leaving us with a total amount available now of $107.05. So that's definitely putting a little pressure on us to finally sell some stuff that maybe we've had for a minute and just kind of maybe either not cut our losses, but like take a little bit less than what we were expecting because we do have a few things that we need to get rid of. I'm going to post these things up on GOAT and eBay and uh, yeah, hopefully we can sell some stuff in the next day or so. It is a beautiful sight. You guys see it right there. Your buyer has confirmed the payment of $175. Scroll down. We finally sold these. I don't know if you guys saw that last video, the last episode on the series. I sold them and they never paid for 160, but they sold for 175, so let's go. Everything happens for a reason, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Had these for so long, so I'm glad to finally get rid of them. So let's go make a label real quick and see how much we're profiting. So you can see this is how much we're taking home after shipping. Shipping was 872. So I'm gonna put that in my spreadsheet real quick and we're gonna see how much exactly we're profiting. All right, so just updated the spreadsheet. It's looking beautiful. You guys can see it right there. Jordan 1 neutral gray, pick those up back in, what month is that? July for $120, took us a little bit more than two months to sell them. Uh, we sold them for 166.28 after shipping fees and we're profiting $46.28 leaving us with $273.33 available. I think we're doing good, so I'm gonna go put the packing slip in the shoes and put them in this stack and we'll ship them out tomorrow. All right, so I legit just woke up. Sorry if I look really rough, but we just hit on these Am Leon Dior uh, New Balance for $155.34. Honestly, I don't even know how I got these. I didn't really try that hard. And as a size 10, they're going for four, 500, I can't see, I'm sorry. My eyes are still blurry. $600, $601. Last sale was 472. Bro, 
this episode, I'm telling you, we cannot miss. We are like red hot right now. I'm feeling good. So I'm gonna go shower, put the stuff in the spreadsheet, and then show you guys what we're working with. All right, so I guess I kind of played myself on that uh, Amblyon Dior drop. Uh, apparently I didn't get them. They charge your card. It's like a raffle, but they charge your card. And if you win, they'll keep the charge. If they don't, they'll refund you the money. So I guess we won't know for a few more days unless we got those. But right now I am in line to purchase these Billy Eilish or Billy Eilish uh, Air Jordan 1 KOs. Uh, they're going for like $310. Retails 170 plus like $20 tax. So should be pretty good profit right there. We had $207 to work with. Crossing my fingers, we get these. I don't know, I was pretty quick to enter my info. Uh, it was just like a simple captcha and it asked me what uh, month her birthday was. I had no clue, so I had to look it up, but we answered it, so hopefully we get these. All right, order is being processed. It was $20 for shipping, which is a little tax, but um, let's see if we pick these up. Order still processing. Oh, looks like we got charged right there. So I guess we got them. So now it's time to upload these on Go immediately uh, because I know these are gonna tank bro because they're ajko's like who's buying ajko's just says your order is confirmed i'm not gonna show you my address but orders confirmed so we just got those so i guess that's cool Ooh, nice we got them so yeah i'm gonna put these up on goat hopefully they sell so i just updated the spreadsheet uh you guys can see the jordan one ko billy eyelashes 20744 leaving us with the amount available of $65.89. So we're definitely running low on cash, but you know, we still have a lot of stuff to sell, so hopefully we can sell some stuff in the next couple days. All right, we are packing up the shoes. Not much to it, just got the box here. So we're just gonna, you know, put the shoes. All right, finished packing it up. Now we're gonna put it in the stack. Go ahead and fall. Well, then we're gonna go finish these and we're going to go drop off the rest of them at UPS. All right, car is all loaded up with the packages. Also, we're gonna do a trade with those unions with the special someone, not for the series, but we're, we're on our way, so might as well record it while we're there. So yeah, here we go. All right, so Mr. Bossman didn't want to be on camera today. Uh, he wasn't looking his best, but I traded my personal pair of Desert Moss uh, unions, my size 10. I literally never wore them. I really like them, but they're just like, the color scheme doesn't go with a lot. It's purple and like moss yellow green ish i don't know so i got these two pairs in in the trade Ooh, nice got a nice little hair in this that's nice uh but i got the pollens i really like these i feel like they're super slept on and then we got a pair of uh brand new raging bull fives which i'm quite the fan of um i like the og pair better but it's also a lot more money and i'm not down to spend that so yeah i think it was a pretty fair trade i'm gonna wear them both so i don't really care and it's two pairs that i think will go up in the future so hey wear your shoes smart so now we're gonna go drop these off okay uh like 95 percent of the packages are out but there was like two of them i had to do on the postal service because it was like a military base and it wouldn't let me i don't know for some reason i had to use the post office so we're gonna go there right now before they close in like 15 minutes all right just dropped off the last two packages now we're about to go home and tonight we have a lot of cleaning to do not for the series because we have no shoes to clean but just in general i have a lot of shoes to clean so i'm gonna be doing that uh and then i'll probably pick up the camera again when I'm taking pictures to post them on eBay because we do have a few shoes we need to post up there. So we ended up not cleaning anything last night, but we did sort everything though. This is everything that needs to get pictures. That's everything that needs to be cleaned. And other good news. We sold the PSG4s on Go. It's a beautiful site. Sold them for $346.14 after fees and all that good stuff. So we're gonna put it in the spreadsheet and see how much exactly we made. So you can see right here, Jordan 4 PSG picked them up uh, two days ago for $280. And two days later, we sold them for $346.16, profiting $66.14, leaving us with an amount available of $412.03. So you love those quick, easy flips, literally two days, $66, easy profit. So yeah, honestly, probably gonna be ending this video today after we go package up the shoes and shipping them out because I wanna start recording next episode because we have something good planned. All right, packages are packed up, let's go drop them off. have been dropped off now unfortunately guys it is time to end the video so we're gonna go home recap what we picked up and sold this video and uh we're gonna end things i'm sorry i'm sorry guys i'm sorry I'm not... all right so we are back home and it's time to wrap things up so let's get into it so we started off the video by picking up three pairs at a local sneaker shop we picked up jordan what the fives for 140 dollars Yeezy 380 Kova Light, or however you say that, for $140 as well. That, that's two. Um, and Jordan 4 Fire Reds that we cleaned up and have posted. We're just waiting for those to sell for $150. So that was the beginning of the video. Then we hit on some Yeezy Foam Runner Orc, Orker, Orcs? I don't know how you pronounce it. 
but those were $88.20, so we got those. Those were a huge plus. We're just kind of waiting for the market to go up a little bit. Then we picked up some Dunk Low UNCs for $180 from a local sneaker shop as well. Then, get it, get it, get it, there's more. We picked up Jordan 4 and 6 PSGs for $280 and $250. And we already sold the PSGs, so those are the ones we just shipped out, for $350, $346, making $66.14 a profit. And then we also managed to pick up the Jordan 1 KO Billy eyelashes for $207.44. We're still waiting for those to, oh, actually they just shipped yesterday, I got the email. Um, but we're just waiting for those to arrive, so hopefully they'll be here next episode. Um, we sold something else in here too. I forgot where, where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I don't know. Point is, we sold some Jordan 1 neutral gray low or neutral gray highs on eBay for like $44 a profit. So I think this was a super, super successful episode. I wish every episode could go like this. This series would be ending a lot quicker than it is. I think we're making really nice, sizable amounts of progress each episode, which in my book is a plus. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram if you want to. You know you don't have to, but I would appreciate it. And yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. I said okay, I was literally just exporting the files on my computer because I just ended the video. But for the people that stayed to the very, very end, you guys get to see a little teaser into the next episode. So you guys can see it right there. We just got an email from Goat. You guys know what those were. We picked those up in the beginning of the video. You see how much we made there, right there, right there. Two ninety six thirty six. Ain't gonna speak too much on it. You guys see in the next episode. So. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I said, baby, like, whoa, huh? I cannot feel any more. Stuck to these bands like I need me some more, yeah. I have been rolling up Doja. Everything feeling so close. Think that I need me some closure. She trying to pull up to shows. Nigga, I'm counting this dough. Hold up a foe, yeah. I might just hop in and go.